School District 60 student. Most of you already know me as Miss Monica Conway. You usually see me coming into your schools and teaching fun, hands-on, applied design, skills, and technology projects. They will be a little bit different because I will be teaching you digitally from my makerspace to yours. When working in any type of makerspace, please make sure to review the Be Safe in Your Makerspace protocols. Today we'll be making a nail string art project. Materials and tools needed for this project are the following. Three quarter inch plywood, a hammer, two copies of a simple coloring page, one inch finishing nails, colorful string, A popsicle stick, scissors, safety glasses, and a pair of work gloves. Now that we have everything, let's get started. Place one copy of your simple coloring page onto the center of your three-quarter inch plywood. Mount your coloring page to your plywood by nailing a finishing nail through one of the lines of your coloring page into the wood. When hammering the finishing nails, keep in mind four things. One, you want to hammer your nails into the plywood around one third of the length of the nail. Two, try and keep the nail 1.5 centimeters apart. This is roughly the same size as the tip of your pinky finger. Three, when hammering the finishing nails into the lines of your coloring paint, Work from the inside of the coloring page design lines to the outside design lines. 4. Focus on putting your nails through the outline of your design and don't worry about details. Don't hesitate to move your project around to get a better angle to hammer your nails in. After you have completed the outline of your design, remove the coloring page from your wood platform. Color in your second copy of the coloring page using the colors of string you will be applying to your project. You will be using this as a reference when applying the string. When applying the string to your project, simply attach the string to a nail using an overhand knot. Once you have the string attached, you're going to make an outline by wrapping the string around the designated nails of the chosen area. Here I have chosen the monster's horn. After you have completed the string outline of the chosen area, continue filling in the area with string by going back and forth from nail to nail creating a crisscross texture. Repeat last step until area is covered with string. If required, use a popsicle stick to push the string further down the nail. This will allow for more layers of string to be added if needed. After getting the desirable crisscross texture in the chosen area, tie string off to either the existing end of the string or a nail. Cut string excess off using scissors. Repeat this process until your design is completely filled in with crisscross string texture. Make sure to reference your second copy of your coloring page at any time if needed. Making outlines on top of a crisscross string layer is an option, shown here with the monster's mouth and teeth.
And there you have it, your very own nail and string art project. For more Makerspace projects coming your way, subscribe to my channel, Miss Monica Conway. If you're looking for a lesson plan that can be paired up with this week's Makerspace project, please follow the link in the description below.